Hello, I'm Matt Brind. This is my brother Andy. Hey. We're currently ranked number four and number one in the world for mountain boarding, and this is why Tramper has invited us up to their main hub, more, more well known as Tramper HQ, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to have a look at their electric mountain boards because the kit is just evolving so fast and getting so high quality now. So they, uh, they threw the gauntlet down, they challenged us to come up here and have a look at the kit and put it through its paces. Yeah. So when you're on the website, there's a whole load of drop boxes. You choose what you want, how you want to set up, batteries, this sort of thing. And this is what will be delivered to you. And to be honest, I am really excited to get in there. Oh, let's see what's in there. Okay, so board bags. Straight up on the board bag. Oh, it's all in the board bag, very neat and tidy. Straight out of the box. Sweet. I really like that. That oh, comes out ni nice, neat, and tidy. That is very tidy. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, the yeah, then with me. we'll take one in each. Open up the bag. <laughs> to find another bag. <laughs> this is all properly well looked after. So we are okay. strapped in there. So we're strapped in. Stops it rattling around during yeah. delivery. Keeps it safe during transit. Absolutely. Battery charger in the box. Okay, so that's the padded board bag. That's where you're going to put your general stuff. Uh, yeah. It can take a bit of a beating. This is waterproof. So if you're going to keep your stuff somewhere, it's good to put it in this bag, just yeah. in case. Okay, let's peel it back. Uh, lift her up. And I'll, I'll, I'll peel it back. <laughs> Other options for debagging your board are available. <laughs> yeah, it's not always a two man job. I'll tell you what, peels are not a good method. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that reveal, way, yeah. great nice. reveal. Okay, this is it. I feel like we got it backwards, should we spin around? Yeah, let's spin around. I like, I like the idea of it. Uh, bindings facing forwards. Yeah, nice. There you go. So this board, it comes set up with the standard tramper bindings and heel straps. Uh, you can have loads of different colorways on those. Um, same with the ratchets, you can customize the colors there. We've also got the meaty mud plugger tires here on the Superstar hubs, um, set up as chrome and black. You can have a couple of different color options there as well. And coming out for 2019, you've got these ball bars. So these go on the front, you can put all your accessories on there. They're standard handlebar size, so your GoPro mount's gonna fit on there. You can attach lights if you're gonna do any evening riding. Um, you can, at the end, the possibilities are endless with these. Down this end of the board, we've got the twin motors with the aluminium CNC precision cut T6 motor mounts with the carbon fiber on the insides. And there is a small rubber seal on this side to stop any sort of water ingress. There's also a skid plate slash bump plate on the bottom, so any damage, you know, just glances straight off. So it's time to get inside the battery box. You'll be shipped a 2.5 millimeter Allen key so that you can undo the battery box and get inside there. Yeah. But for ease of use, Teda supplied us with this lovely snap-on ratchet. Okay, so while Andy's undoing the top box there, I'll quickly go into some of the customizations because this is a really high-end piece of kit and there is a lot of customization options available. So we've got the medium motors on here. You can get more powerful motor or a less powerful motor depending on whether you want more torque or whether you want more top speed. Um, you can also gear the motors differently as well to change up the way the board rides and how it accelerates and things. Um, We've got this board set up with a quite a stiff deck, so it doesn't flex too much because we're quite advanced riders, and the more advanced the rider you are, the stiffer the deck you want, really. Um, so yeah, there are loads of options to customise, so please just send Tramper an email or go through their website to talk to them about the customisation options because there are lots of them for really fine-tuning the ride into exactly how you want it to be. How are you getting on there? Yeah, almost there, one more. Almost there? Sweet. Maybe two. Maybe two. Right. Let's see what's in there. Bubble wrap. Bubble hey. wrap. <laughs> a nice little tramper pouch and a bit more bubble wrap. Excellent. So inside this pouch, I imagine, is going to be the goodies. Goodies. It's a charging cable for your remote. Ah, I was going to say. <laughs> what is this for? So this is the remote to drive the actual board itself. Uh, it uses Bluetooth to connect to the box. Yep. Just micro USB cable. What else we got? And in here we have cables that we need to connect up the batteries. These are your power cables. You've got your top too. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, oh, there yeah. we go. That's why he's the electric expert. 
<laughs> Expert, blimey. We're told this is the, the tricky part. Uh, fortunately, the board comes pre-assembled, so yep. uh, there's only really putting the batteries in. So Tramper recommends these HRB batteries. That's a uh, high-performance racing battery. That's used by everyone um, who do any kind of recreational or kind of professional electric racing stuff, so whether it's planes and things like that. Um, you'll notice there, the first thing that Andy's done before we put the batteries in, he's taken the back panel out. There's a little knack to that, so you twist as you take it out, and he's put the bubble wrap back into the bottom. Back in. So I'm going to give this to Andy, because <laughs> I heard this is the fiddly part. <laughs> Two Looking big old batteries. There are options available on the Trample website for purchasing the batteries. Uh, you go through a third party to buy the batteries, and that's for a few reasons. So one of the biggest reasons is there's a lot of rules around shipping batteries, so it, it's quite difficult to meet those rules and ship them. Um, so that's why Trample recommends you to go to their partner, their third party. Um, also, it's a lot cheaper for you guys uh, that way as well because you've got no middleman, so it doesn't get shipped to Trample first at a cost and then taxes on top of that and things like that. And then Trample then have to ship it on again, meeting all these strict battery shipping criteria. Uh, you just get it direct from the manufacturer. It takes 10 to 12 days to arrive and then you're good to go. Another reason as well is there's options available. So, um, if you want to use a different kind of battery, you can because you're purchasing them yourself, things like that. And also the battery tech is changing so quickly and so regularly that it's it's just better to buy from the manufacturer. So how are you getting on there, Andy? We're wiggling in the right direction. So this is going to be a real tight, snug fit, just so those batteries aren't rattling around at all. Absolutely. And this plate has got in written on it, so you know which way around it goes because it is handed. A little notch out here, and it's on the top on the other side. So, let's see if we get this back in. These jobs off now. Oh, we're in. That was quite we're easy. We're in? Yeah. Excellent. So, now we've got the batteries back in and the back plate back on. Now would be a good time to check they've got it all wired up properly. No wires have come unplugged or anything like that. So, put your battery connectors in. They only go in one way. Make sure to push right down, nice and snug. And at which point, uh, you look the display lights up with your battery percentage. Ideally, you're looking for 100%, you know. That's what I always give it anyway. Yeah, well, they might they might not be charged up yet. Yeah. Okay, so before you put the top back on, you're gonna wanna put your bubble wrap in. This is just to take up any excess space in there because you don't want those batteries rattling around. So stuff as much as you can in there. Fortunately, you get a load of bubble wrap in the box anyway, so just reuse that. And yep, with the top cover, it's got grooves cut out in the side, so it all fits nice and snugly. You wanna tighten it down nice and evenly so I don't get any leans or any wonky cases put on. And you should hear a nice click, ideally, when you get it down nice and tight, just to say it's all in and clicked into place. So, let's see how we can get this in. So while Andy's doing this, I'm gonna jump in and tell you a little bit more again. So I'm gonna come down this end. So for 2019, Tramper's rerouting the cables. They're gonna have a new carbon fiber CNC milled panel, um, which is gonna cover up all the cables and everything. So the back truck is gonna have an eight millimeter riser so that the cables run in and under, over the top of the truck itself. And then there's gonna be a little protection under there, like I say, an eight millimeter, um, not an eight millimeter, a carbon fiber channel, which will protect the cables then from any damage underneath the board. There's also a groove cut into the top of the board here. So the cables actually disappear once they go on, on top of the truck. Uh, there's a nice panel on top of there. Um, and underneath that panel is cut out and that's where the cables are actually wired. So it's all really clean. And when it comes to the 2019 edition, it's going to be even cleaner. Um, so it's really impressive how everything is well hidden. Ratchet, please. Ratchet. Tramper ships with the battery charger for the batteries that you've said you're going to be purchasing. Not only do they ship you with a charger, they set up the charger specifically for the batteries that you've ordered because there's quite a lot of tech that goes in here. Much with the motors and the electronics and the board itself, there's a lot of customization that can be made and tweaks that can be made in there. So they use their experts to set up the charger for your batteries. Ooh. That's the click, I believe. <laughs> All right, that was the click. <laughs> That's how you know you've done a good job. <laughs> So anyway, like I say, the charger comes pre-set up for you, so you have nothing to set up there, because it is really quite complicated and can be quite technical. So once you get the battery charger, if you don't change batteries, it should be set up, ready to go for the lifetime of your batteries. So, now we're all back together. It's a good time to power up and make sure she's all still working properly. Get the remote connected. Don't know why I've called her a she, but you know. Why not? Because you're gonna ride her. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Once your cable's connected, simply hold the power button on the remote, wait for the lights to flick on. There we go, good, let's lift her up. It's good. It's good it's to like go. Nice electric purr. So now we're all set up. We've got to mention the Vesk. Absolutely. So that was de developed by Benjamin Vedder with the support of Tramper, and it's exclusive to Tramper, and it is a very high quality product. Uh, it comes pre-built and everything in the box for you, and it's set up for the cells that you purchased. Um, but motors. with the motors, yeah, and everything that you want to set up, actually you can really customise it. Absolutely. Um, so if you go to the link that you were sent when you purchased your board, uh, it's vesk tool thank you, dot com, <laughs> uh, or you can download an Android app, you can go in there and you can tweak all of the settings and really customise it for what you want. We will have a separate Vesk video to go into all of that, but definitely worth a mention, because that is a... Market leading. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the remote is Bluetooth connected to your battery box and to the well, the electronics, the control Vesk. system, basically the vest. Yep. Yeah. You got a circle up to go forwards. The further up you go, the faster you're gonna go, and then back does the brakes. Um, be careful on the brakes. <laughs> Um, just because they can be a little bit sharp and especially if you're going fast you don't want any wheel lockups um, and also same with the accelerator you can get some well that suddenly goes very fast so you want to just while you're first having a go on your board just ease into it a little bit until you're used to it and then you can start to ramp up the acceleration um, I think that's the remote yeah uh, so if you haven't got a hundred percent in the battery you're gonna want to charge it of course and we'll have a separate charging video for that um, apart from that, I think the board's ready to ride, right? Yep, yeah, looks good to me. Yeah. Oh, I'm keen. I'm keen too. So <laughs> look out for the next video where we're going to be putting this thing through its paces outside.